Can we talk for a few moments today on legacy and how do you build one? Especially how do you build one that, wow, is what you really wanted and what you could really be proud of. I'm glad you're with us on Minute with Maxwell. My name is John and I wanna to talk to you about that legacy. The first thing that I think is important for you and I to understand is that we get to choose it. In fact, we not only get to choose it, but we get to choose it now. Now that's the mistake that most people make. They think that a legacy can't be chosen and they think that it can't be discovered to the very end of their journey. And then people look at you and say, oh, this is what they were. This is what they believed in. This is who they were. I don't believe that at all. I believe that you and I can choose our legacy today and then we can live it out for the rest of our life to make sure that it's a solid, clear legacy. For example, I can still remember 20 years ago, sitting down with a group of leaders, and in that room we spent a day about leadership, and at the conclusion of that day, the one thing that came out of that meeting was that I wanted my legacy to be leadership. I wanted that to be my brand, I wanted that to be who I was when people saw John Maxwell, I wanted to see leadership. And out of that meeting that day, we made a determination that that's who we were, that's what, how we would behave, and that's what I want my legacy to be. Now, 20 years from later, that's what I'm known for. When you say John Maxwell, people think of leadership. Well, I want you to know that that was very intentional. There was nothing lucky about that. There was nothing that we just stumbled onto. It was just a fact that we determined that's what my legacy should be. And then you back up that decision and determination with your behavior. Now, in that meeting, if we'd have said it's going to be leadership, and then I would, have written, would not have written any books on leadership, and I wouldn't teach on leadership, and I wouldn't have any companies on leadership, guess what? That wouldn't have been my legacy. So talking about it or determining it is not enough. You determine what you want your legacy to be, and then you act on it. And you bring resources in to bolster that. People, money, opportunities, everything that will help you to make that legacy the one that you want. So don't let people come to your funeral guessing. <laughs> you don't want them to kind of go around and say, okay, who were they and what did they stand for and what did they believe in? No, 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 you can determine that today. And I encourage you to do that because the greatest legacies that are built are not built in a moment, they're built in a lifetime. Start now. You've got your rest of your life to build it. John Maxwell here, glad you're with me today on Minute with Maxwell.